Scientists say neutrinos may have broken cosmic speed limit. Roll over, Einstein. The physics world is abuzz with news that a group of European physicists plans to announce that it has clocked a burst of subatomic particles known as neutrinos breaking the cosmic speed limit, the speed of light that was set by Albert Einstein in 1905. If true, it is a result that would change the world. But that if is enormous. Even before the European physicists had presented the results in a paper to appear on the physics website AR capital X IV dot org and in a seminar at CERN, the European Center for Nuclear Research on Friday, a course of physicists had risen up on blogs and elsewhere arguing that it was way too soon to give up on Einstein and that there was probably some experimental error. Incredible claims require incredible evidence, so they say. In other words, this could open up a whole new realm of possibilities. These guys have done their level best, but before throwing Einstein on the bonfire, we'd like to see an independent experiment, said John Ellis, a CERN theorist who has published work on the speeds of the ghostly particles known as neutrinos. According to scientists familiar with the paper, the neutrinos raced from a particle accelerator at CERN outside Geneva, where they were created, to a cavern underneath Gran Sasso in Italy, a distance of approximately 450 miles, about 60 nanoseconds faster than it would take a light beam. That amounts to a speed greater than light by about 0.0025%, 2.5 parts in a hundred thousand. Even this small deviation would theoretically open up the possibility of time travel and play havoc with long-standing notions of cause and effect. Einstein himself, the author of Modern Physics, whose theory of relativity established the speed of light as the ultimate limit, said that if you could send a message faster than light, you could send a telegram to the past in some kind of way, somehow. A theorist at CERN called the claim flabbergasting. If it is true, then we truly haven't understood anything about anything, he said, adding, it looks too big to be true. The correct attitude is to ask oneself what went wrong. The group that is reporting the results as known as OPERA for Oscillation Project with Emulsion Tracking Apparatus. The physicist at the University of Bern who leads the group agreed with others who expressed shock he told the BBC that Opera, after much internal discussion, had decided to put its results out there in order to get them scrutinized. My dream would be that another independent experiment finds the same thing, he told the BBC. Then I would be relieved. Neutrinos are among the weirdest denizens of the weird quantum subatomic world. Once thought to be massless and to travel at the speed of light, they can sail through walls and planets like wind through a screen door. Moreover, they come in three varieties and can morph from one form to another as they travel along, an effect that the opera experiment was designed to detect by comparing ten microsecond pulses of protons on one end with pulses of neutrinos at the other. It was pointed out, however, that it was impossible to identify which protons gave birth to which neutrino leading to statistical uncertainties. A similar experiment was reported by a collaboration known as MINOS in 2007 on neutrinos created at Fermilab in Illinois and beamed through the earth to the Sudan mine in Minnesota. That group found, although with less precision, that the neutrino speeds were consistent with the speed of light. Measurements of neutrinos emitted from a supernova in the large Magellanic cloud in 1987, moreover, suggested that their speeds differed from light by less than one part in a billion. John Leonard, a neutrino astronomer at the University of Hawaii, said that if the results of the opera researchers turned out to be true, it could be the first hint that neutrinos can take a shortcut through space, through extra dimensions. Special relativity only holds in flat space, so 
if there is a warped fifth dimension, it is possible that on the other slices of it, the speed of light is different. Perhaps something on that order, but it is too soon for such mind-bending speculation. The opera results will generate a rush of experiments aimed at confirming or reputating it. According to Dr. Leonard, this is revolutionary and will require convincing replication, he said. So, in other words, humans, or humanity, still has a lot to learn. And perhaps, in some kind of way, this is the message. This, too, is another sign of the times, the end times, transition days, which is a time of extraordinary happenings, changes, and events. Again, everything is numbered, and everything is connected. It's also called destiny or fate. There is a master plan. First John chapter 5 verse 7 For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. Eight. And there are three that bear witness in earth, the Spirit, and the water, and the blood. And these three agree in one. Nine. If we receive the witness of humans, the witness of God is greater, for this is the witness of God which he has testified of his Son. 10. He that believes on the Son of God has a witness in himself. He that believes not God has made him a liar, because he believes not the record that God gave of his Son. 11. And this is the record that God has given to us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. It's time for all prophecy to be fulfilled right now.